All right then gang, so since we're gonna be using live data from Firestore and also authentication in this app, it's pretty important to think ahead and plan how exactly we're gonna structure this app. So what screens are we gonna have? How is data gonna be provided to the different widgets? And how is our app gonna keep track of the authentication state? All of these types of questions need to be answered so we can create some kind of structure that works for us, okay? Now there's gonna be many ways that we could approach this and no one particular way is correct. But the way that we're gonna be structuring our app is a bit like this. First of all, we've got this root widget, my app, sitting at the top of the widget tree. And beneath that, we're gonna have a wrapper widget and that is gonna be actively listening for auth changes. So whether a user is logged in or logged out. Now, depending on that user authentication status, whether they're logged in or not, that widget, that wrapper widget, is either gonna show a home screen or an authentication screen. Now, these are two separate widgets, and if the user is logged in, it's gonna show this side, the right side, and if they're logged out, it's gonna show this side over here, okay? So this wrapper is dynamically showing different content dependent on the authentication status of the user. Now, inside this home screen over here, we're going to actually list all of the data and hot drink preferences of each user in the app. Now we're gonna do that inside a brew list widget that's nested inside the home screen widget. And also inside the home screen, there's gonna be nested a settings panel widget where we can update their own coffee preferences, how many sugars they want, what strength, etc. So we're gonna do that inside this settings form widget right here. Now on the other side, when a user is not logged in, we're gonna show this authenticate widget and nested inside that, we're gonna show one of two widgets, either a sign in widget where they can sign in or a register widget. Now we're only gonna show one at a time and a user should be able to switch between these two things so they can either sign in or register. So when a user uses this app, we're gonna listen for authentication changes if they're authenticated, we show the right side, and if they're not authenticated, we show the left side of the widget tree. So the wrapper at the top, this is like the anchor of the whole app. The thing listening for auth changes of the user, are they logged in or are they not? And then showing the correct content dependent on that. Now have the wrapper listens for those different changes, we're gonna discuss in detail later. And we're also gonna be discussing how these other widgets over here are gonna be interacting with our Firestore database as well to show and update data inside this brew list widget. But for now, let's just flesh out this general structure of the application. Okay then, so let's start to flesh out the structure of this app. So at the minute, all we have is the main.dart file with all of this bump in it at the minute that we get when we create a new application. And that's what we see on the screen over here. Now, what I'm gonna do is start to create a few folders inside the lib folder so that we can organize our code efficiently. And the first one I'm gonna do is called screens. So all of the widgets that make up the different screens are gonna go inside this folder right here. Now, I'm gonna create some subfolders for the different sections of our app so first of all, the home screen. So all of the different widgets that go to create the home screen are gonna live in there. And also another folder called Authenticate. And all of the different widgets that go to create the authentication screens are gonna live inside that folder. So let's now create these new files. So first of all, authenticate.dart. So that is gonna be the root authentication um, widget, if you like. And inside that, we're gonna either show the sign-in widget or the register widget. So at the minute, what I'm gonna do is just import material, first of all, like so, so that we can use the material dart package. And then I'm gonna create a stateful widget. So ST, FUL, and tab, that creates us this stateful widget. And I'm gonna call this authenticate, like so. And inside here, we'll just return a container and inside that we'll do a child and it's going to be a text widget and we'll just say authenticate okay so if we navigate to this screen we know what it is at the minute so that's all we're going to do for now inside this widget just create that blank stateful widget and it's stateful because we are going to use state in the future inside this widget next we'll do the home one so right click the home folder and create a new file and call this home.dart 
and this home.dart widget is going to be the widget that wraps the brew list widget and also the settings form. Now this is going to be a stateless widget. We're not going to use state directly inside this one. So let's say STLES and tab and we'll call this one home. Now we also need to import material. So import and material tab and now that's set up as well. Let's just do a child inside this container which will be a text widget and we'll just say home for now. Okay so that's those two different files set up. We also need that wrapper to go above those. Remember we said we have the root component which is main.dart then sitting underneath that we have the wrapper which listens for auth changes and that wrapper is either going to show the home or the authentication widget. So let's now create directly in the screens folder because it's neither home nor authenticate. Let's create that wrapper dot dart file. Now inside here as well we need to import material. So let's do that first of all. And then this is also going to be a stateless widget. We're not going to be directly using state inside this widget. So let's say STLES tab and this is going to be called wrapper. Okay, now inside here, we don't want to return a container. This is where we want to either return the home or the authentication widget, dependent on whether a user is signed in or not. So let us just do a little comment here to say return either home or authenticate widget. Okay, so for now, let's just return the home widget. Now you'll notice when I start to write this, you're going to see over here. Now if I press tab, it's going to select that and auto import it for me. So let me do that and we can see auto imports the home widget. Okay, so now we have the wrapper which shows the home at the minute, but eventually it will listen for auth changes and either show authenticate or home. And beneath that we have the home and the authenticate widgets, right? Now we also need to address this main.dart file because at the minute we have all of this code which is making up this thing over here. So what I'm going to do now is actually delete most of this stuff. So I'm going to delete everything inside material app right here like so and we need to close this off. Okay so now we just have a material app. Now I also want to delete this class down here the my homepage because we don't need any of that. So let me get rid of that. And now all we have is this thing, the main function, which runs when the Flutter app first starts, fires this function right here, run app, which registers this as our root widget. And that is this thing right here. So at the minute, it's just a material app widget. And inside, all we're going to do is now say, well, the home property is going to be the wrapper. And again, I'm going to press tab so that it can automatically bring in that component or rather that widget at the top for me right there and invoke that and now this should all work. So we have the main.dart file which is saying the wrapper should be the home screen. So it's going to load up the wrapper if I save this and then over here inside the wrapper we can see we have this thing right here. This return statement is just returning home which is this widget right here and we can see it's just this text. So if I save all this and press refresh over here then we should see that update over here on the right and we can see now home okay so that's all there is to it at the minute yeah it doesn't look great and by the way let me just go to the wrapper file over here and instead of returning home let me return authenticate oops if I can spell it that is authenticate press tab to import that save it and if I refresh then we should see that work over here oops no we don't because we've forgotten our parentheses, save it and now we see it working, we see the authenticate widget instead. Okay, so now we've got this basic structure up and running. In the next video what I want to do is introduce Firebase Auth into the mix.